Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm back at you with another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do reverse reverb for vocal lead-ins, though this technique doesn't need to be just for vocals. It can be really for anything, and it sounds really cool. And I'm actually going to be doing it with Live's Reverb because I just published a tutorial using Rob Pappin's Verb 2, which does it automatically inside of the plugin, and it sounds a little bit like this with Rob Pappin's version. Yeah, baby, you know. I'm gonna break you down tonight, you know Yeah, yeah Break you down tonight So Rob Pappin's Verb 2 is a great way to get that effect and once you set everything up you don't have to redo the process of getting that reverse reverb going on. It actually does it all inside of it. Really great. Suggest that tutorial. Go check it out. But if you don't have that reverb plugin, you can do it inside of Ableton Live. It's just a little bit more work to get it done. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. I actually already did this tutorial a couple years ago, but I figured it needed an upgrade with, you know, 2017 standards, quote unquote. So let's go ahead and do it. So what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and delete these vocal clips. This is my vocal here. This is where the effect is going to happen. And what we need to do is take the first kind of word or syllable of any vocal phrase we want to apply this effect to and move it into its own track. So break. So the break sounds pretty good here. I'm going to go ahead and hold control and click and drag that up there and right click and consolidate. And what that's going to do is make it its own clip. So there's no, and what that's going to do is make it its own clip. Then I can come into the clip window and hit reverse. So now it's reversed. Come into the effects here, come down to reverb. Let's do special bright reflections or forest floor, something like that. Bring it up to 100%. Go ahead and solo the channel. That sounds pretty good. We're going to have to right click and freeze track, right click and flatten the track. And then we can move that over right there. And what I'd like to do now is go ahead and take a region. Like I've got just a full bar here and delete that tail, right click and consolidate again. And now I have a manageable loop that I can use with just moving around on the grid instead of having that tail, which is kind of not locked to the grid. It's just an idea, workflow tip there. Come back in, reverse it again, and now drop it in front of whatever we were adding that into. So let's go ahead and see what that sounds like with the vocal now. Break you down tonight. And there you go, we've got the same effect, we just had to do a bunch more steps. And if we wanted to do this to multiple areas, we'd have to repeat that process. I suppose you could do it all at once if you wanted to, to kind of speed things up. But no matter what, the Pappin Reverb 2 is actually a lot better for this type of thing. And you have a lot more flexibility, like you can change the reverb while it's happening. So you can kind of demo through different things and see how they sound in conjunction with the actual vocal itself. So anyway, that's just a quick tip on how to do that if you don't have the verb too though i highly suggest checking it out i'll leave links to everything on the blog i hope you learned something we'll see you next time